Hey guys, it's Eric, uh, and I've got a kind of cautionary tale, uh, sort of a tutorial, sort of a lesson thing to kind of share with you tonight. And this is this applies to Max and Max for Live, but it's kind of neat, and it's got some cool potential, um, but it also could potentially have some uh, big ramifications if you are not careful. Anyway, okay, here's the deal. Uh, in Max, uh, you have these uh, this ability to send and receive messages across uh, all kinds of things, and it can be pretty cool. Um, so, for instance, like here, I have this uh, little device called Moo or Moo Two here. Let me open it up now. Moo Two, uh, I have a MIDI in, and just because I have this cool keyboard in the middle of it here, uh, I have a, a send Moo and a receive Moo over here, right? So, as I uh, press keys, uh, my, my MIDI in comes, I parse out, I throw it up here, and I just send, I use the send moo and receive moo over here, so it goes, you know, MIDI in and MIDI out, so I can hear things on my synth, and I, I happen to like that device, and say, okay, that's great, and I'll close it, and, uh, whoops, um, I happen to use the same device on this other track over here, because I, I like it, and right now you see it's the same exact one, and, uh, say I turn that on over here, and look what's happening, okay, that's weird, right? Why am I getting MIDI on both of these tracks? And why am I hearing the sound on both these tracks? Well, the answer is simple. What's happening is this send moo, receive moo, the send and receive messages, that happens across the whole environment. It's not limited to one device. It's across patches. You can get all kinds of craziness going on. So uh, you have to be careful about that. Now, there's a way to avoid that. If you want your devices to be named something unique, or excuse me, your, your messages, uh, your message holes, whatever they're called, um, name something unique automatically, you can put three dashes in front of them. That'll replace it with a, a three-digit number that's just going to automatically, the next time you save it, it just generates a number, and this way that is going to become unique to this patch. And so if you're used to just using things as, you know, okay, this is something inside this patch and you don't want to like mess around with anything, you do that. However, there's actually some cool stuff you can do with this, right? Now let's leave it uh, out that way. And of course you have the thing where we're playing across uh, the patches there, and that's all fine and good. Um, but let's do let's let's look at something more interesting. Like say, for instance, I happen to have over here a uh, Max Audio device, and the thing about Max Audio devices is you can't necessarily. And why can't I get my let me get my delay my Remy delay up here? Come on, where'd you go? Hello, there we go. Um, you can't send Max Audio devices MIDI information, right? You can only have plug in, plug out. What you can do, say I receive my Moo over here, I can send MIDI from a MIDI device over to an audio device. So if I turn on my Remy delay now, and let's uh, pop them up again. So what's going to happen is, in this case, I am, am receiving the Moo from this guy. So I'm getting MIDI information from this device, and I'm parsing it. I'm scaling it to, so as you see, I'm getting aftertouch here, and I'm sending the aftertouch to my feedback parameter. So I can use MIDI control over audio devices, so it's kind of neat, uh, like in this case, uh, I have uh, the, uh, let's see, what am I sending, the uh, feedback amount based on my aftertouch. So you can imagine that's kind of cool. It's kind of like side chaining and then some. Uh, so it's kind of a really neat feature. Something to, you know, to be aware of. You might want to use that uh, uh, in some of your own devices, but you should also definitely be aware of it just in case if you like suddenly you see these kind of weird things where one device is suddenly getting messages from another. You may very well want to go out and put those, you know, triple minuses, uh, the triple dashes in front of your uh, send and receive names. Um, so it's a cool tip, uh, something to try out, something to keep in the back of your head. And uh, again, this is Eric for Learn Max. Remember, rate, subscribe, and comment on these videos. Uh, YouTube loves when you do that. Uh, the ranking goes up when you do that, and therefore I love when you do that. Okay, so take care. Until next time, happy patching.